Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Electronic Helper 3 here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove your Android Lock XT uh, passcode or bypass it. Hopefully, you checked out my other video on how to get it. If you haven't, uh, please do check that out. Uh, but the reason I wanted you to see it is because I, I told you that you needed to install something in order to bypass it and that is SB settings so hopefully you do have SB settings installed uh, if you don't I don't think there's anything you can do but anyway I'm just gonna show you how to do it so first I'll show you that I have a passcode on right now and that I'm going into it my phone and so here's how to do it so first you're just gonna uh, open up SB settings up there and scroll down to the bottom and hit the power button then you're gonna hit safe mode and you're gonna go into safe mode okay so now that you're in safe mode what this really means is that all your mobile substrate add-ons and extensions are gone and, and since Android Lock uh, XT is one of them that means that your Android Lock XT will just be gone so you can slide to unlock freely and you'll be able to get into your phone okay um, if you do have a normal four-digit passcode uh, that Apple supplies you with, it won't bypass that, uh, but it will bypass the Android Lock XT. Then, if you just went back uh, into normal um, normal mode, then it won't just, it won't remove it anymore. It'll come back to the same passcode. So what that means is that you're gonna have to go into Cydia and go to the search tab and find Android Lock XT. So once you search for it and find it, you're going to click on it. Make sure you click on the one with the check mark so you know that's the one that you actually installed because there are many different ones from many different sources. And then at the top right here, you can hit modify, then go to the bottom and hit the remove button. And then up here, hit confirm. Once you're done with that, you can go down to the bottom and hit Restart Springboard, and it'll automatically take you out of safe mode, so you don't have to worry about that. So just hit Restart Springboard. And now that you are not in safe mode, um, and you have removed the Android Lock passcode, you should be able to get in freely, just fine. And so you'll have everything back to normal, and everything is good and okay. And so that is how to bypass your Android Lock Pascal. I hope you enjoy this, guys. If it helps, please hit the like button, uh, put a comment down below, and of course, subscribe. See you next time, guys.